Hello, welcome to this new video and welcome to this YouTube channel by me. Check me out. How's it going? Oh shit, I just beat a dead horse. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Anyway, uh, let's keep on going. Oh, what are we going to be talking about? What are we going to be talking about? Oh, yes, that's right. I want to get some of you first. Now, today we're going to be introducing VR. That's right, we're going to be introducing VR. Okay, so, here's the first thing we got to know. Way back then, VR was very rare to find. However, you will go to arcades and find... VR games like the Beachhead arcade cabinets that that pretty much you see where you have these little things you go through these little weird helmet thing and then you just shoot some things in defense so yeah you have the Beachhead and you play it in VR and of course Nintendo attempted to do VR with the Virtual Boy but unfortunately that backfired in their fucking face however Hmm. VR, as a matter of fact, has been, well, in the pretty much public access market, arcade, or all that stuff. And the Virtual Boy, we don't want to hear that. That's a disaster. However, we fast forward to now, and, uh,. Things began with the Oculus Rift, which was on Kickstarter. Okay, so there was the Oculus Rift that launched on Kickstarter. There were many, many, many donations kicked in. It was successful, hugely successful. However, there were dev kits coming out. It took years and years for the to release it out for consumers. And it is kind of crazy to see how long it took really insane. But however, during the time it was still in development, people were coming out with developers. There was HTC that was coming out with the Vive. There was Google coming out with Cardboard. There was people coming out with VR headsets. And when, and it, I think it was later before PC Gaming VR got their headsets, but Sony would go ahead and decide, you know what, what if we made our VR headset for the PlayStation 4? So yes, so you got our three types of VR headsets. You have PC gaming VR, console gaming VR, and of course mobile VR. So over on the PC gaming VR side, you have the two contenders that are out. You have the Oculus Rift, which I have. And of course, the HTC Vive, which was dedicated for Steam VR. Okay, so both of them utilize keyboard and mouse, controller, and of course, motion controls. And then you go over to console gaming VR. So you have your controller, PlayStation 4, your DualShock 4. And of course you have your motion controls, alright? So you go to mobile VR, and you have either a gaze control, or you can connect your Bluetooth joystick, and then have fun with it, or you have like one of those Bluetooth remote that other headsets can include that. You see that? Of course. Now when it comes to the way VR works, mobile VR, as you just stand and think, this relies on just 360. So, yeah, you have 360 degree access. And pretty much doesn't need any sensors or anything a lot of you guys are asking. No, it kind of uses what the phone has, the little gyro sensors and all that kind of stuff. And that's in there, all that fun themes that's in that phone. So that's where mobile VR can come in with that. So the mobile VR is simple. So speaking of mobile VR, you have you have the Gear VR and Google Cardboard, and of course, Google came out with select phones, the Daydream V2, 
VR, or Google Daydream View, or something like that. So yeah, cardboard slash Daydream, and then you have the Gear VR, which is exclusive to Samsung Galaxy phones. This was made in collaboration with Samsung and Oculus, by the way. Okay. So, of course you have your gaze controls, of course you have your Bluetooth, you have your Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth. <laughs> and now, let's do the same thing. So, of course you have your you have your Bluetooth connectivity, and of course you have your gaze controls, which is normally used for average VR things, and of course you can use the touchscreen via that magnet thing on your Google Cardboard headset, or that touchpad on your ear VR, that kind of stuff. Anyway, so, mobile VR. It consists of just 360 degree. However, you're standing still when it comes to mobile VR. There's 360, you know, that's it. You're standing, it looks like you're standing still. However, as for PC gaming VR and probably console gaming VR, you have pretty much the head tracking enhanced to the point where you can zoom into things and zoom into things. You tilt your, it can track your head tilting forward. It can track your head tilting back. It can track your head tilting left and right. It's going to pick up on that. And of course, you're going to have access to three types of positions when it comes to VR because of this. So you have access to your standing, which is available for both all of VR, all types of VR. You have your sitting, you can sit and use VR while you're sitting. Like I said, same thing goes for all VR headsets. And then you have the room scale, which is pretty much being big on PC gaming VR and all that. So room scale, so standing, you're standing, sitting, you're sitting down. And also, room scale, room scale technology, your entire room can be a VR play area, which is actually a pretty good thing, so it is pretty good. Now, in terms of pricing when it comes to VR headsets, now, mobile VR is actually the cheapest as PC gaming VR is the most expensive. In between is console gaming VR because you have the console and your spent. Is Xbox coming out with their own? Well, actually, you know, Microsoft's doing their own thing. Alright, so, we've gotten through the... What else can we cover for that intro, by the way? So, we already covered its history, we already covered what happened, we already... We already covered what controls we're gonna get, we already covered the comparison between it, we already learned that when it comes to mobile VR, it's just 360 view, but however, it's enhanced via PC gaming because it can detect that your head's moving forward, moving back, and moving. So you can zoom into things, you can dodge things, and all that kind of stuff. It, it's insane. And yeah. So we already went through what's the most cheapest, what's the most expensive, what's the in between, all of that. Why is... Yo! What, why is VR getting popular now? Well, it's the idea that VR has finally came to consumers at home. You don't need to go to these beachhead VR arcade cabinets to get VR, or you, need to, you don't need to get these things. And also, the VR actually works. Surprisingly. And of course, you don't have to... It, it's really a good thing because it's being more and more and more accessible for home entertainment, and this is why it's doing that, and people are pretty much innovating left and right. They're bringing horror games to VR, they're bringing action games to VR, the motion controls, and all that jazz. Everybody is going crazy for VR because of the fact that it's coming to them. And, yeah, what you normally would end up seeing at the arcades, on a beachhead arcade VR cabinet, or what you normally would wouldn't see on Game Boy is that it's finally coming. You can see every single goddamn color. You can see every single thing. It can it has the head tracking thing. You can look up and the camera's gonna shift up the way you're looking. The camera's gonna look the way you're looking. Everything about VR 
It's coming out, it's coming to home consumers, everybody's loving it. Because hey, it's working. It is what it is. It's coming to home consumers also. And that's what's getting people into VR. Oh hey, this looks awesome. It's coming. It's finally here. And of course, it's finally here for home consumers. Home consumers can enjoy VR. Pork blows up in my face. Now a lot of you guys are gonna notice. Hey, wh why are you using Mist Twist? Mountain Dew and Doritos, not Mist Twist and Doritos. Well, I could only find these at the store, so. And really, because of people going and taking VR and bringing what made VR VR and bringing it to home entertainment and making it accessible in the home entertainment industry, people are gonna make their own things and they're gonna come out with their own VR things and they're gonna there's VR cameras that are coming out. Let's talk about that. Virtual reality cameras. There's gonna be cameras that can, that can allow you to record. VR video or 360 degree video and of course I know a lot of them that are a lot of the time if you want a 60 frames per second VR video you're gonna need to pay up to like extra we're talking to like uh, I guess you could say up to a thousand dollars but however the cheapest and the cheapest VR cameras can only do 30 frames per second I nitpick to be honest with you I, I admit and I have admitted a thousand times, I am a huge nut for 60 frames per second. I want 60 frames per second, I want it. And, uh, yeah. However, if you are a huge 60 frames per second nut like me, you're probably gonna end up, you know, I'll probably jump into making VR video later. Where is, where is the VR camera that can record 60 frames per second? Oh, hey, there's that. Oh, hey, that's a thousand dollars. Fuck. Basically, VR is like that one friend who you rarely ask to come over because he ends up getting busy most of the time. But then again, he finally comes over and it's finally exciting because he's coming over, no shit. Okay, so what you just saw was the covering of the intro into VR. What is going to happen is that there's going to be separate videos talking about certain aspects of VR. So we'll get into... Uh, for example, PC gaming VR in a separate video, and then we'll talk about mobile VR in a separate video, and then we'll go through both of them in like a separate video. And there, there's going to be a separate video about talking about VR, and it's going to. And of course, if all these videos were to compile, we're talking about like 10 hours, 15 hours, 20 hours, and it would take very, 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 very long to make. And also, as soon as I get. As soon as I am, I'm making sure I have access to PlayStation VR. I get a hold of PlayStation VR, I put this on, and I take a look at console gaming VR, and then I will go from there. And of course, the overall of what I think about VR means um, means all the types of VR that, have, that I went through. All this, and we're going to go through what I kind of think about the whole thing as VR as a whole. So, yeah. It's going to be structured with multiple videos, and it's going to be a series for... It's going to be a series talking about VR, so that would be a wonderful thing, and... Yeah, with this kind of stuff, we can just... And in between, there's going to be videos about VR, of course. Yeah, I mean, in between. Yeah, there's going to be in between these stuff, so... Yes. Anyway, that is all, and I'll be looking forward to you in the next video.